good evening, Gary Smith, Andrew Danlishan, and thank you for joining us after a fine victory away at Banbury United to this Lambs Media production sponsored by OnlySuperNews.com. So, first of all, congratulations on a massive three points. Um, but the first question really has to go, uh, has to be about uh, Luke Little, who, after what looked like a horrific injury, I have to ask, how is he? Um. He's uh, been looked after by the uh, medical team at the moment. Um, paramedics are on their way to assess to make sure he's um, okay. Um, and we'll get a proper diagnosis once once that's been done. Um, but at the moment, he's still in the change room on the stretcher. We believe he's got a broken nose um, and still blood streaming from it. So um, we'll wait and see what happens when the paramedics arrive and we can get a full diagnosis at that point. But you know he's in a bad way at the moment. He was on the pitch for a long time and obviously receiving treatment and um, you know, no surprise to see the stretcher come on really so just relieved that he seems like he will be okay but obviously he's got some injuries. Yeah um, we're hoping that obviously it's not, not, not too serious, um, nothing that will keep him out long term. Um, he's a young fit lad and hopefully um, after that diagnosis from the paramedics he'll get the all clear to resume playing and training again but obviously like like I said he came round as well didn't yeah, he? he was a bit he, concussed he's, um, he's, he's, he is awake and, yeah. and stuff like that he was concussed um, he felt sick and stuff like that but like I said until we get uh, a full diagnosis um, we can't give you a, 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 a how bad it really is at the moment obviously okay I appreciate that thank you uh, Andrew um, before kick-off, I guess really coming away to the team second in the table behind us, we've been happy with the draw. Is that fair to say? Yeah, with with the obviously we've got three games in Andover Banbury um, and we're three points clear. So we came away and said that a draw won't be a bad result. And um, we looked at their shape as well and knew that they'd have spells of possession of the ball and and we had to be make sure that we were sort of diligent out of possession. Um, so we had a game plan to make sure that we weren't too expansive. And and if we got a draw away from them, we would have been happy. Um, but then as, as Smudge I lent, highlighted on the bench. Um, we've got the firepower coming off the bench to to affect the game and change the tempo and the dynamics of the game, which, which obviously with Chris Lee, Aaron Ford and Casaboni, they came on and, and, and they changed the dynamics of the game. Well, it was difficult to play slow football on that pitch, uh, which only a matter of a week or so ago was under about six inches of water. Yeah. So they've done a fantastic job here at Banbury to get that playable. Totally. Um, but yeah, th this Tamworth side have shown that they've got uh, many faces really and they all pull together and somehow get the job done regardless. Yeah, there's a lot of resilience in that squad. There's some very, very experienced footballers in there as well um, who are doing a fantastic job in um, dragging the younger lads on and, and just showing them exactly the way things should be and the younger lads are buying into it. I mean, if you look at the performance from Henry Wilder today, um, I thought Henry Wilder was fantastic for a lad of only 19 years old. He's putting in some fantastic performances. I mean, Luke Little again today, only 19 years old. You know, and then you have the likes of Ryan Beswick, Jazz Singh, Nathaniel Rowe Turner, who for for 90 minutes for me just looked so calm and casual, like like he didn't have anything to really do. But you know, th those players are the ones that are setting the example and the younger boys are following and, and it's, it's, it's just fantastic. Long may that continue. Well, we haven't mentioned it yet, but uh, what a goal to win a game of football. And that man, Chris Lake, come back, he's played two games now, three goals. And uh, what can I say, what a finish. Yeah, I mean, obviously, late he was here last year and under, under me and Smudge and he was scoring goals then. Um, he scored two against Colesville on um, Monday night. Um, so he was, he, was, he was sort of, you know, chomping at the bit to play. Um, but obviously, at the same time, we've, there's a lot of lads who are doing well here already. So we've got to manage that. But what a goal. Um, he's come onto it and it's so sweet. As soon as it left its foot, it was flying. But late he's got that... Um, He's got that in his locker. Um, he's got good technique when he strikes a ball, um, and I, I'm, I'm just buzzing for him because um, the fans love him, obviously, and I'm buzzing for the team. Um, but great strike, um, especially to win it like that. To be fair as well, their keeper made a, made a couple of saves just before that from I think Aaron Ford, and he's kept him in the game. So then to get another chance so late on just shows the, the energy, the fitness, and the resilience of the team, like we just said, to keep going to try and get that winner away from him. So I think we, the, the lads could feel that they was on top at that moment. Yeah, Gary, you must be pleasing to see us again went on, you could just tell that really it would, it would be Tamworth that went on yeah, when I one thought, team was to. I thought first half they controlled the game um, uh, more than what we did. 
um, without really causing too many problems. I think Jazz has only had one, like, one save yeah. to really make. But then, um, you know, I said to the boys at half time, like, you're still in the game, it's nil nil. Um, I think we can go out now and, and play our way now and, and see if we can get something out of the game. And, like, right at the end, again, it's uh, my blood pressure's up there, but uh, it's gone in and fantastic. Just brilliant strike and great scenes at the end. The fans, absolutely fantastic. You know, that support that they've given us again today is just exceptional. And uh, long may that continue as well. But just, just absolutely delighted for everyone connected with the football club. And it's another fantastic three points on the board for us. Um, and we move on to Tuesday's game again. And, um, you know, we've set the boys some targets and hopefully we can continue to you know achieve what we want to get to and uh, yeah just just brilliant fantastic great feeling okay brilliant if i can just wrap up andrew um other than luke are there any fresh injury concerns ahead of the visit of needham market on tuesday evening no there's no um there's no fresh injuries from today um we've got obviously joe mcgunder on the mendy should be back um shortly um obviously we just hope that luke's okay and um you know, fighting strong but apart from that um we're okay we're good to go brilliant thank you very much for your time guys we'll catch up with you again soon nice to see thank you, you back as well kev thank yeah. you very much i've enjoyed it <laughs>